Previously on Beyond Two Souls. We came here in broad daylight. We tried to get to the house. Oh, it won't start, Jay! It won't start! Oh, the entity's coming back. My father told me you can't fight a spirit. Your ancestors, they summoned Yeitsu here. It brings spirit to kill their enemies and gain revenge. Hello YouTube, my name is Blinky Cab, and welcome to part 12 of Beyond Two Souls. Ready? Yeah. Hold. Okay, I'm recording. Now concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Hmm, what is speaking to me? The photograph. Hmm. Not much coming from that. What about this coin type thing? Hmm. Maybe this box. What's the ballerina box? You see anything I did? Whoops. Let's have a look. Show me the memories! Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. Did she call him Dad? No, it wasn't me. It was his daughter. Jody. You okay? Yeah, this is your daughter's box. You're trying to re-gift it, bitch! Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Did you see something? Yeah, tell him. I saw a little girl. Her music box. Laura. Hmm. Yeah. Nathan. Okay, I'll talk. Nathan. Someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Hmm. Let's go on a little wander around, hey? See what we can see. So I'm really going to try to knock over some Beyond Two Souls today. I'm going to try and get some... Oh, it's that guy from the CIA. He's obviously come to talk to Nathan about... Maybe acquiring Jody for the CIA, and that's how she gets in. Let's have a look around. Yeah, I'm really going to try and do my best to get a lot of episodes done. Because I really want to finish it. For your sake, have a drink. For your sake, as well as for mine. Because I really want to see how this all ends, how it all ties up. I hope that was Jody's water, because if that was someone else's water, that's kind of random for her to just go and drink it. You don't just go around drinking out of other people's water bottles. Hang on, was I meant to look at that? Wait, wait, sit. You sit back down, girl. You sit back down. I can't. Damn it. Let's go speak to Cole. Or we'll sit here. Okay, we'll get up. Homework, long Nathan visitor. Uh, long? Is that a sexual question? Do you think he'll be long? Ah. Relax, princess. He'll be back in a minute. 
Yeah, who is he talking to? Do you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? No idea. Hasn't Nathan been... I don't know, just acting kind of strange lately? He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it. You know how he is. Mmm, short on funding, are we? Homework. I hope we don't finish too late. I have tons of homework to do. You know, Nathan's always complaining when I get bad grades. But he's always keeping me here when I should be studying. That's a discussion you'll have to have with him, Princess. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. Somewhere fancy. I'm sick of cafeteria food. Hmm. Let's get a chalky cheese. Hmm. Jody, could you come here, please? Yes. Of course I can. I'll be right out, darling. Just making sure there wasn't anything left to explore. Okay, let's meet this Ryan guy. What's what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody? This is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents... The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Hmm. Today. Um. I'm upset. No, you can't let them take me away. You have to talk to them. They'll listen to you. My opinion means nothing to them. Your parents have already given their agreement. That's bullshit. There's nothing I can do. You can't force me to go. Now I'm angry. What am I, a toy? Some kind of a test subject? Yeah, bitch. Did you ever just stop and think about what I want? Hey, Johnny, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. I don't know. There's so I'm many options. I'll be cynical. You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Wow, what a dish! Insulting. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. That's it. Let's go. Come here. Get the fuck off me, man. Nah, man, that guy just tried to harass me, bro. Kick his ass. Oh, this for me. Cole's always just standing in the background, just like never saying anything. I'll go get my things. Ah, oh, Jody. Sure, the CIA is going to be cool, but only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. Shut up, Dick. Yeah, the CIA would be wicked, but you don't want to be told you have to go there. You know, you want to have a choice at life. Jody's been stripped of her choices. Yeah, I'd be pretty upset as well. I mean, her whole life up until this point has been stripped away from her. Only the essentials. Well, if I remember correctly, the pink bunny rabbit was essential. That's what she arrived with. And that's what she's going to lit. Oh my god, it's on the bed. It is on the bed. That's the essentials. Get the bunny, get the bunny, get the bunny. Get the bunny. Whoops, maybe on the other side. Don't worry, the bunny will make you happy. Get the bunny. Pick up the bunny, damn it! She's pretty upset. Let's go. 
fix ourselves up in the bathroom. Do you want to go pee pee? Do you want to go pee pee? Jeez, man. How do I cheer her up? The bunny didn't cheer her up. She doesn't want to go pee pee. I guess her bag's already packed. Miraculously, it was. There it was. Oh no, it's empty, it's empty. <laughs> now I can go get the bunny! Yeah, get the bunny. <laughs> Freaking love that bunny. No, put it in the bag. No, put it in the bag. No, put the, put the bunny. Put the bunny back in the bag. There we go. Alright, I'm not even going to check for anything else. The essentials... I've got the essentials. I guess this is farewell to my room. That I grew up in. Goodbye security camera. Goodbye world map. Goodbye strange drawings. Goodbye cool posters. Goodbye sweet bed. I will miss you. Oh, this is upsetting for me. Alright, let's go. Oh, she forgot something. I thought the bunny was the essentials. What did you forget? Arden, is there something you want to take? Cry it out, baby. Cry it out. That's it. Ah, I'm trying to make jokes and it's actually not a time for jokes. This is no time to try and be funny, Blinky. This is serious, life-changing stuff that's happening here right now. God, that looked like the top I already had on. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'll take a photo of Nathan and Cole. Anything else I want to take? My toothbrush? Man, she's pretty upset. It's funny because when I played the CIA training stage, when she arrived there, she didn't seem all that pissed off, you know, it didn't really flow over, but having seen the story now prior to that moment, you can see she's she's a very distraught young woman. Is that it? Have I got everything? Okay. Some CDs? No? Alright, let's hit the road. <laughs> No? Still more? Ah, This is sad! Ah, It's time to go, Jody. Ah, it's time to go. If you too feel for Jody, call 1300. Jody is a little girl. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. Terrible joke. All right. Don't worry. See you later, Cole. I'm sure you'll be great. Dave, I'm gonna miss the hell out of you, princess. Thanks for letting me possess you, Cole. I'll come and see you as soon as I can. Never let you down. You've let me down now by letting the CIA take me away, huh? 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 I'll always be there for you. I guess he's been somewhat of a father figure for me. My real dad's a real prick.
See you later, guys. Ah, that was emotional. It was. It really was, you know. Anyway, I'm over it now. Time for the dinner! Yeah! Where are we going? Where are they taking me? So where's this? This is after the embassy. But before the bit where she runs off, see? So... Yeah, the embassy was where I, I was like... Anyway, you'll, you know what happened in the embassy. You already know what happened. I don't need to recap. You got my email. What we what what email? The one I sent three days ago. I thought it was spam. I deleted it. I'm you know, sorry. I, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now. So maybe another time. No, no, no. That's fine. I can get dressed quickly. Shit. Shit. I'm so sorry. I. You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? Whoa. I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Um, uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. Wow. See you later. Man, this dinner's going somewhere fast, isn't it? Seems as though Jody and Ryan have formed somewhat of a relationship. Arden doesn't approve. Now I get why you blasted my computer. Ah, ha, ha. Arden blew it up. You didn't want me to see Ryan. That's right. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. He's not good for you, girl. I know what's best. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again! I'm not yours, Aiden! I can have a relationship with whoever I want. But if you sleep with them, this is my life. I'll have to watch, and that's gross. Do you fucking hear me? This is my life. This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> Easy, I'll fly away and give you a nosebleed. I swear to God, I will. I will. I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Oh. What happened at the bar? Thank you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. What happened at the bar? Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up. You gonna take a shower? You better take a shower. She better shower for Ryan, otherwise that is gross. Man, she lives like a pig in this place. Look, she's got DVDs on the floor. You would have picked that shit up, girl. Oh, that's right, kick it under. <laughs> oh, she's brilliant. Alright, what's she going to do with the trash over here? Just What's that? Grand Theft Auto 5. Damn. <laughs> Books. Yeah, books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Where where is the bookshelf? This looks like a bookshelf. Okay, great. There's like a soda can there. Can you pick that up? No. Oh man. She is so messy. Right, dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. Alright, where's the bathroom? There's a basket there. There we go. Alright, there. I love how she commentates where to put things like, okay, whoa, oh, nice one Arden, nice one. So does Arden love Jody? Like, I know he loves Jody, but does he, like, love love Jody? Like, does he want to, like, marry Jody? Does he want to have sex with Jody? That's what I'm getting at. Does he want to? Does he want to do the nah, nah with Jody? How would that work anyway? He'd have to possess her. Trash can in the kitchen. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my 
God, the dinner! Uh, yeah, here's there, the kitchen. There's gotta be something in the kitchen. Oh, there's a trash can. I love this game, it makes you do, like, everyday things. Like when we were on the Indian farm, we had to go and get the, the bale of hay from the barn. And now we're, here we are in the apartment tidying up. <laughs> okay, living room looks pretty good now. She wanted to see what she could cook though, so let's check out what food... How can I pan the camera around? Pan the... Okay, never mind. Whoa. What is that? Vodka? Is she gonna drink it? Damn, take the edge off, hey girl? Okay, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> uh, what is there to cook? I gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. <laughs> you need Jamie Oliver's 30 minute meals. I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. No way, can I choose what to... Asian beef. No, I'm not really down with the beef. Curry chicken with oven baked vegetables. <laughs> That sounds It'll pretty take good. Some time in the oven, but it seems doable. No, no, we aren't going to risk it. Pizza delivery. Ah, oh, yeah. It's not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Asian beef, I could do. Chicken oh, curry. It's I'd, time to decide. It's just going to take too long in the oven. Pizza. Look, he'll have to excuse the pizza because, I mean, I didn't read his email. He's coming over in an hour. What more does he expect? And he's not really coming over for the food anyway. He's coming over for Jody's, you know. This is a G-rated channel, people. Pizza it is. Pizza. I mean, it's it's the easy way out, but he's not going to mind. I'll call him. Should I change? Nah, I'm going pizza. You know, you're wasting your time. <laughs> you're not going to stop me from seeing Ryan. <laughs> phone, phone, phone. Where was the phone? Over here? No? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, good God, I know the number by heart. The pizza number? Is that what- did she say she's calling the pizza place? Or is she gonna check with Ro Ryan? Hey, yeah, uh, nah, pizza. can I get a large pizza? The, um, Super Supreme? Yeah, that's my favorite. Um, like 8, 8.15. Yeah. Uh, 6192 Columbus Street. Yeah, the ninth floor. Okay, cool. Great, thanks. <laughs> this game is awesome, I mean, honestly. Oh, too proud of myself, but at least we're gonna eat. Ah, oh, was pizza the bad choice? Knew I should have gone with Asian beef. Shit, it's 7.30. Crap, he's early. That's not him, is it? I'm coming! Hang on, yo, I'm just gonna put some pants on. Uh, that's the bathroom. Where's the bedroom? Here. Oh. Clothes here? No? You better put some pants on, girl! Or Ryan's gonna get the wrong idea from the start. Crap. Do I have time to take a shower for Yeah, me? that's right. Yep. Yes, you do. Yes. Is he at the front door? What? He's at the front door and you're gonna take a shower now. Quick, quick, quick. How do I operate it? Turn it on! Turn the shower on! Damn it, he's waiting! Look at her, she's got a little, like, hop, skip, and a jump. Get out of the toilet! You're not gonna wash yourself in there. Damn, I'm stuck. Okay. Is there, like, an ensuite? This is an ensuite. It's part of the bedroom. Why can't I take a shower? Oh, do I need to answer the... Oh my god. I'm going to let him in. Coming. And then I'm going to take a shower. That's so gross. 
Like, gross, because he's going to be like, ooh, she's in the shower. Maybe she's... That's an invitation. What the hell? Is this my front door? Oh, it's... Uh, Aiden's locked me out. Aiden did it. <laughs> oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. <laughs> I'll break it down, Arden. Don't leave me in the hallway with no pants on! Aiden, come on! Open up! <laughs> What's she gonna do? Jesus. Oh, wow! She can... Oh, nosebleed time. Too. She's stronger than Arden. But she gets a nosebleed. Whew! Okay, so he's not really there. Look, we can go and take a shower now. I got all worried then, honestly. I got really stressed out. I thought he was there. I was going to answer the door in my underwear. Then I was going to take a shower while he was waiting. I mean, the doors to the shower is see-through. Doesn't seem like there's any doors to the bathroom either. So he'd just walk on through, you know, hop in the shower with me. I'd turn around. He'd have his dingleberry out. Well, maybe not a dingleberry. That's great. I'm trying to keep this channel G-rated. I don't want to say words like penis or vagina. Even though I just said them. But yeah. <laughs> Here's the gratuitous new shower scene. That's it. Rub those legs, girl. Rub those legs. Shake it, baby. Shake it. Dry that shit, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I'm not flustered anymore. It was just Aiden playing games. He's not here. I've showered. Let's go and put on something pretty. I want something that says comfortable because I'm in my own home. But I did take the effort to look nice for you. But by no means is it an invitation to my vagina. Oh my god, that is completely the wrong thing to wear. You cannot... Oh, it's her underwear. Okay. Oh, okay. Man, I was going to say, that doesn't tick any of the boxes I just stipulated. Ooh, I get to choose. Cool. Cool. Sexy. Elegant. Ah. Elegant's like overdressed because it's I'm at my house. Cool. Is that lazy? And sexy. I don't want an invitation. I just want him to come around. Maybe a little bit of soft petting. Some kissing, maybe. But sexy. Cool, elegant. Mm. Alright, I think you know what I'm going with. Cool! Oh, hey Ryan. That's what you wore on the day yeah, you I left! Remember, I just like threw these old things on because. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, put that back. That's what you wore in the last. Not enough effort. In the last chapter, like. When you were younger and you were just leaving to go to the CIA. That was the same freaking top. Okay. <sighs> Let's get elegant. Probably be the same thing she wore at the embassy. Is it? Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like Is it? Is that what you wore at the embassy? Classic, elegant. <laughs> Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> No, I don't know. The embassy was a while ago, but I remember it was a red dress, and that's a red dress. Jody, don't you own any clothes? Wrong idea. Oh. <sighs> Jeez, this is so difficult. I'm glad I'm a guy because being a girl is hard. Guys just put on whatever. Okay, sexy. Oh hi, Ryan. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. That's sexy. I've been waiting for you. What's she being like that for? 
Oh, well, at least it's something new. I don't want to wear something he's already seen before, so... Hot. He is gonna see a whole new side of me. She did say she's falling for him, though, so maybe I do want to... I don't know, sleep with him? I don't, I don't, I don't. Whoa! You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. <laughs> Period. Yeah, I mean, it's cute. I'd say it's a cute top. I wouldn't go as far as sexy. She is showing her, like, a little bit of a midriff there. Oh, he's here. Perfect timing. Let's go. I hope you like Super Supreme. Don't fuck shit up, Arden. <gasps> Deep breath, people. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. Great year. That sounds good to me. So. <sighs> butterflies, butterflies. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um... Music? The thing that opens the wine. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just keep it together, girl. Cool apartment! Huh? <laughs> yeah, thanks! Biden. For fuck's sakes! I'm scared for her because she wants this date to go down well and Aiden, I can tell already, he's just gonna fuck shit up. The poor thing, she's had such a troubled life, finally starting to be normal. Ryan obviously knows her secret and he's like, doesn't give a shit. So, it's a match made in heaven really. And Aiden's gonna fuck it up. <laughs> okay, let's have some nice wine. I'm gonna open it. No, no, I'll do it. Uh, that's it. Pop. Pop. And pour. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. Cheers. <laughs> it's awkward. There's too many awkward silences. When did you move in? Here we go. Um, a couple weeks ago, yeah, the agency found it for me, and all furnished and everything. Which is, it's actually the first place I've ever had just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea. <laughs> do I need to mess shit up here, or can I just leave it? Because. And how about you? Where Where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place. Just nah, I don't want to. I don't it's want small, to mess it up for her. But, you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you, did you grow if up If he's here? boring, I'll fuck it up. No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brother still live there. Okay, that's interesting. I, I moved out when I was 16. Ooh, okay. 16. Pretty young. Oh. Did you... Go straight to the CIA? Did you get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. Yep, you're losing me. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. Oh, that's interesting. And uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Okay, awkward silence. Yep, awkward silence. I'm gonna fuck shit up. How did you end up joining the CIA? Oh, that's interesting. I uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, Try the army. You know, for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. That's cool. Awkward silence. Ah. Uh, I didn't want to mess things up. I really didn't. All right. I wonder if that 
You keep the change. Alt is right. like the gameplay. I ordered pizza. I I I hope that's. No, pizza's good. Don't sweat it. I don't know. There's so many options in this game. To ruin Jody's night, to not ruin Jody's night. That is the question. So we've been working together now for what? Like two years? I know almost nothing about you. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing much to I say. I kind of want to. I grew up with my parents on the no, DPA don't. campus. And then the DPA campus, like that right. Me. That's what she's talking about. Well, That's the base. Mm -hmm. You pretty much know the rest, so... Oh, there's so many things I can yeah, screw up. You, uh, the chair. You? The laptop. No. The blinds. No, I, I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up, more or less. I'm really tempted! They taught me how to cope with <laughs> Iden. How to accept myself as oh, I am. If I can open the drawers. I mean, it wasn't. I can knock the vase thing. over. I can pull the paintings off the wall. So many things I can do. Did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? I just no. don't want to ruin it for Jody. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Okay, maybe I'll just tinker it's with really the lights a little. Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even... You're he talking about Aiden, so... Or he's what? gonna play with the lights. Alright, here we go. Uh, what about you? Do you have, do you have any family? They <laughs> just ignored no, it. <laughs> no, my, uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> And are you, um, are you married or anything? No. Do you think he'd be coming over for no, dinner if he was? Yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for other two years. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. Aww. Uh, you? Anyone on your radar? I'm getting hot. <sighs> I've got Aiden, so... I mean, anyone in our world. He's fishing. He's fishing here. He wants you to say you him. Know, Aiden kind of... has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just... too odd for anyone to be interested in. Special. <gasps> Jody. They're touching hands. I has got nothing to do with this. Reject or kiss? I don't know. Okay, kiss him, because he called me special. Oh my goodness. This just got X-rated. No, no, it was just a kiss. Oh my god. I didn't condone this. I said kiss. Oh, this is more than I bargained on for. I hit kiss. I didn't hiss. I didn't press sexually make out on the bed. Where was that option? Did you see that option? I didn't see the option. I saw reject and I saw kiss. Stop. Oh, stop. Jordan, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not um, it's not your fault. There's there's just there's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what a prick. He doesn't want to hang around and console me. I say no to sex and then he just leaves. Like every man's done to me my whole life. <laughs> Men! They're all the same. Uh, Alright guys, thanks for joining me. Catch me again in the next episode. And we'll continue.
Have a great day. Linky Cab, signing out.